Hibiscus flowers are beautiful summer blooming flowers that bloom throughout the summer season and here we have a lot of blooms and buds on our hibiscus plants. So as you can see there are a few flowers that are already in bloom and there are a lot of buds that are yet to bloom in the next few days. So we've been getting constant blooms on these plants throughout the summer and they come in so many different colors and varieties. So today I'm going to share a view of some of the hibiscus plants and how we can have them continuously blooming throughout the summer season with simple easy tips. Hi everyone and welcome to Fresh From My Garden. So as you can see these pink hibiscus flowers are in bloom and they are looking really beautiful and they are growing in a container and there are also lots of buds that we can expect to bloom in the next few days. And right behind in the backdrop there is another hibiscus plant which is almost a tree and it has grown as big as our house. And this is the traditional hibiscus, the red one, which has a lot of medicinal benefits and in, is used a lot in hair care and skin care products. So this plant was grown from a small cutting that we got from a friend's house and now it has grown almost as tall as our house and you can see that there are so many beautiful flowers that are growing on this plant and this is in the northeast side of our garden and it gets a lot of sunlight during the morning time. A very important thing when growing a lot of flowering plants is sunlight. There are a few flowering plants that will do well in partial shade but plants like hibiscus are tropical flowering plants and they need a lot of direct sunlight in order for them to bloom well and bloom regularly. So at least 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight is very essential for most of the flowering plants and even with a lot of care and fertilizer if they don't get enough sunlight they will not bloom regularly and they will just produce a lot of foliage and very few flowers. So sunlight is one of the most important things especially with tropical flowering plants and when fertilizing these plants during the blooming season they can be fertilized once every two to three weeks with bone meal or with organic homemade fertilizer and I have repeated this in several of my previous videos that we make a homemade fertilizer using eggshells and banana peels that I save for about two to three weeks. I have a full video on the process of making this fertilizer at home and if you haven't watched it already please do watch this video because this is one really reliable fertilizer that guarantees a lot of flowering on all your flowering plants. So we use this regularly and I make this and make sure that my plants get this fertilizer at least every 15 to 21 days during the flowering season. Another thing to watch out for is pest attack and hibiscus plants are usually prone to mealy bug attacks and once there is a mealy bug attack on the hibiscus plants then you will see that the leaves and the flowers are shriveled up and they don't grow to their actual size and they look really infected and they lose its complete beauty. So this can be taken care by using neem oil spray every one or two weeks based on uh, the pest attack that we see on the plants. But since this hibiscus tree is really tall, we cannot reach the top ends of the hibiscus plant and make sure that they are pest free. But whatever part of the plant that we have access to, we usually check to make sure that there is no pest attack. 
So these are some simple ways in which we ensure a lot of blooming and beautiful flowers throughout the season on our hibiscus plants and we have different varieties and different colors of hibiscus plants growing in different parts of our garden and I also have a video on my channel about that. So do take a look at that video and do keep watching our channel and do support us. Thanks for watching Fresh From My Garden.